Yeah, all right guys, here we go. We got the whole Venom Pool series plus Venom himself. Just open these all up. I haven't really played around with them too much like as far as like seeing what they're except for Venom. Um, I really like the articulation uh, in this figure. It, you can see the, the actual joints and stuff that they put in this figure. Super, super happy. I have a second uh, Venom uh, that I picked up that I'm probably going to customize. Really, really like. The only, my only problem is the, the lower legs are really... Uh, like small like the feet and the the calves are really small so like standing him is a little bit of an issue but I need to play with it a little bit more uh, pretty cool that the uh, the veins at least in the arms can't really tell at least in the arms oh yeah they're they're actually molded on like sculpted uh, down here as well and he comes with an alternate head and alternate hands fists a clenched fist and then he has his claw hands uh, onto the venom pool wave Seems to be the least favorite of the wave, Morbius. Um, I think he definitely stands out as far as this wave goes, with them all being, you know, symbiotes or uh, venomized uh, versions. And then you got Morbius, which is a vampire. So I like the figure, honestly. Though um, I think he could have could be a little darker around the eyes. But I dig it. I don't know about that hair though. I wish I had my previous uh, Morbius figure, uh, Marvel Legends Morbius figure to compare, but it's in storage right now. But I like it. It's it's all right. I, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna keep it. Um, I've seen some people throw around the idea of making a. Uh, Spider-Man Noir with it uh, because of the the chest because of the torso and that could be cool that could be fun which I mean I, th I think at some point we're, we're gonna get one but I don't know maybe uh, next up to me this is the gem of this the series we have Carnage all the black is sculpted which is pretty cool the little tendrils on the legs and arms are like a soft you know plastic and then he's got an alternate head which we've gotten before and then he's got this piece here the tendrils that go into his back it's hard to do it with one hand but yeah it goes into the the back and then he's got his tail have his tendrils there yeah morbius absolutely no accessories whatsoever as far as accessories go this see this series is is lacking it's weak as far as accessories then next up we have phage which I don't know um, anything about, but I know he's cool looking. I like the uh, I like the deco. I do wish that he was uh, more like Carnage in the way of having the black sculpted, but other than that, he's pretty awesome. 
and that little piece on the back actually does come off. And then he has one accessory that uh, basically is like an inter interchangeable like hand. Like it goes into the, the hand, the little peg there. Then we got Ghost Spider, which out of the package, I'm liking her a lot more than I did seeing her in the package. Uh, like many people, I think having the, the, the tongue here detachable would have made this figure a lot better. Um, there's lack of paint on the tongue. Like all the little teeth are not painted, which stinks, but uh, I really like the logo on the back of the, the vest. And she's got like a little raptor claw almost on her feet. But yeah, I like, I like this figure a lot more out of the package. And then last but not least, yeah, she has no accessories either. And then last but not least, we've got Venomized Miles Morales. Which is a pretty damn cool, you know, figure. I think he's a little puny. His hands are definitely huge compared to his body. I'm not sure if that's accurate to the character or not. The, uh, the, like, veins on the biceps are in the, on the forearms, too. The forearms, biceps, and the head are all sculpted. Which is cool. Which is good. Which, which again makes me wonder why they didn't sculpt the, you know, the black portions on here would have made that figure stand out, would have made that figure even better in my opinion. But yeah, and then Miles, no accessories whatsoever. And the coup de gras of the Venom Pool wave, of course, is the Venom build a figure here are all the parts laid out I have not put them together yet and then on the back you'll see got an arm and hand came with Morbius got the head came with Carnage the legs came with Phage the other arm and hand came with Miles and then the torso and the uh, the sword uh, can't think of what it's called uh, that came with ghost spider as well came with the torso all right let's put this baby together this dude is massive Holy crap. Very easy to put together. The only issue that I had was with the um, this back piece here. I'm getting it on, but it wasn't that difficult. He is awesome. All the stitches are sculpted. There's texture on the arms. Well, on the entire suit, actually. It's all textured. This, the, uh, the holster is tight enough that it looks good. It doesn't look, you know, comical or anything like that, but loose enough that it doesn't hinder the articulation. Swords do come out. And he looks pretty damn cool.
and size comparison I mean this dude's huge this dude is huge but I mean like he you know he even towers over Venom well not towers but he's definitely bigger than Venom It makes definitely towers over miles. Oh no. Whoa. All right, earthquake guys. Very, very cool. The first uh, build a figure, Marvel Legends build a figure that I've ever actually been able to to buy and put together super super happy that i was able to acquire all the figures for one thing for you know retail price and build this thing because he is awesome video hope you think that these um new figures are as awesome as i do uh, i would say that this is probably the um how to rank these figures, of course, the Build-A-Figure, the Venom Pool is number one, in my opinion. By far my, my favorite and the best. Um, and even though Venom isn't in the Venom Pool, uh, as far as this haul goes, this... Um, as far as this haul goes, I'm going to say uh, Venom... Takes my number two spot, followed by Carnage, closely by Carnage. Then you got Phage. And this is going to be controversial, I think. But then I've got Morbius. Then Ghost Spider. And last, uh, I'm really sorry, Miles. But last, got to be Miles. He's so small. No accessories. The head scan is awesome. And the sculpting on the bicep and the forearms are awesome. But yeah, he just he takes my last. He, you know, he comes in last, unfortunately. But overall, I think it's a great wave. Great series of figures. I'm a sucker for Venom. And any really any of the symbiotes at this point are awesome. It's definitely down my alley. Uh, being a big horror fan uh, with the fangs and the, you know, everything like that that I, I think they're awesome but i hope you enjoyed enjoy this video if you did please like and subscribe because i'm gonna be back with more uh hauls and and buys and all that good stuff uh very soon